When John arrived at the Great Northern Wall, he was a young man full of dreams and ideas about honor and justice. He idealized the Night's Watch, but like any young man, he discovered that life is much more complicated than doing what is right. The wall was not what he thought it was, and he had to make decisions that were too difficult and went against his own values. But before John marched to King's Landing and ended the life of the Mother of Dragons, he had a very important conversation with a very important person who unknowingly was part of his own family and who warned him about what would happen. An omen that explained that John would have to choose between love and duty. Maester Eamon, one of the last Targaryen that existed in Westeros, and his conversation with Jon Snow, beyond revealing his identity, is an omen to the decision that John had to make. Today we are going to talk about one of the wisest Targaryen, Maester Eamon. If you want to know everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. When Jon Snow agreed to serve in the Night's Watch, he had to swear an oath to reject his own family and put the honor of defending the men from threats in the North before his own desires. While John was on the wall, his father was arrested for treason, and his brother was marching off to war. John was faced with the choice of breaking his vows to the Night's Watch and leaving to support his brother, or staying in the North and being true to his vows and forgetting his family. Faced with this dilemma, John meets with Maester Eamon, who received the message about Rob's intentions. So he comes to advise John. But behind his words, there is much more than a simple conversation. Sam said you wanted to see me? I did indeed. Perhaps you'd be kind enough to assist me. The scene begins with Jon Snow, arriving at where Maester Eamon is. As Sam had explained to him that his brother Rob was marching to war in the south. The Maester entrusted Sam with this message since he was Jon's friend, and asked him to have Jon come and speak with him. The first question Eamon asks John is about the Night's Watch. He asks him if he knows why they can't have a wife, to which John says he doesn't. So Eamon goes on to explain to John Snow. As we delve deeper into these words, we realize that they contain much more than just a conversation or advice on Eamon's part, it is a foreshadowing of John Snow's own story arc. In those moments John had just received his sword for defending his peers on the wall. He had become a leader within the Night's Watch. But he also knew that his family was in trouble. Eamon asks him this question because John would have to choose between the love of his family and his vows. But what he says next is the foreshadowing of the end of Game of Thrones. And Lord Stark is one man in ten thousand. What is duty against the feel of a newborn son in your arm? What is honor compared to a woman's love? Or a brother's smile? For John, his father would have kept his vows and followed an honorable path, no matter what, putting honor above his personal interests. Up to that point, it had been easy for John to fulfill his vows. But as Eamon mentions to him next, there will come a time when John will have to choose. In every man's life, sooner or later, there comes a day when it is not easy. A day when he must choose. This conversation that John has with the Maester is the basis of his character, the choice between what he is supposed to do and what his heart dictates. The consequences of this choice cost John his life once, who wished to march north and the Night's Watch itself took his life. And Persis and kill Persis. <gasps> but that day Eamon spoke about, when John had to decide between love and honor, loyalty and what he was supposed to do, had yet to come. What are vows compared to a woman's love? Asked Eamon. And finally, John had to face this decision when he understood that it was his duty to protect the kingdom, that he must end the life of the woman he loved to prevent all of Westeros from being destroyed. The day Eamon spoke about finally came, 
and the gods put Jon Snow to the test in the worst way possible. However, Jon decided to ignore that love. He did what he thought was right, ended the threat, and returned to the north. This conversation between Eamond and Jon is one of the most impressive foreshadowings in the entire Game of Thrones series because when we see it in retrospect, we understand that this conversation could have shaped Jon Snow's character. And at the moment when he was standing in front of Daenerys in the Red Keep, he may have been thinking about this conversation he had with Eamond and how love was the death of duty. Back to the conversation between Eamond and Jon. The young wolf tells Eamon that no one understands him and that although he is an illegitimate son, they are still his family. It is then that Eamon reveals his true identity to John. The gods were cruel when they saw fit to test my vows. And what could I do when the ravens brought the news from the south? They waited till I was old. The ruin of my house, the death of my family. I was helpless, blind, frail. Eamon had been through something similar. The destruction of his family had come while he was in the north. And he had to decide between staying on the wall or returning to somehow help his brother. Then we understand who exactly the maester was talking about. When I heard they had killed my brother's son, and his poor son, and the children, even the little children. John at that moment understood that Eamon had faced a very difficult decision. So the intrigue invades him and he asks him who he is. To which Eamon replies as follows. Who are you? My father, the first of his name, was Micah. My brother, Egan, when I had refused the throne, reigned after him, and he was followed by his son, Aerys, whom they called the Mad King. Eamon concludes by saying that John must make that decision the same way he made his. I will not tell you to stay or go. You must make that choice yourself and live with it for the rest of your days, as I have. Now, as I explained before, Eamon's omen accompanies John until the end. And after Tyrion made John understand that Daenerys was a danger and he should finish her off, John told him the same words that Eamon told him on the wall. Love is more powerful than reason. We all know that. Love is the death of duty. John was mindful of the conversation he had with Eamond. The day had finally come for John to make that great decision. Tyrion asked him where that phrase came from to which John replied that Maester Eamond had told him. To which Tyrion answers. You just came up with that. Maester Eamon said it a long time ago. Sometimes duty is the death of love. You are the shield that guards the realms of men. As Tyrion rightly says, John has become the protector. His oath, not only as Night's Watch, but also as King in the North and as a Stark, is to protect the realm from its threat. Now, this omen is not the only one Eamon said during the series. His words were always full of wisdom. Even more so now, that we know Eamon himself was family to Jon Snow. Something that perhaps the maester knew because, in one of their conversations, Eamon mentioned how terrible it was for a Targaryen to be alone in the world. A Targaryen alone in the world is a terrible thing. Although Eamon was referring to Daenerys, this could also be a foreshadowing of Jon Snow, who finds himself alone in the north. He has become the last Targaryen. In future videos, we will be talking about Eamon's story. How he became a maester and one of the smartest Targaryen of all time. How he had to watch the fall of his own family, and still kept his vows. In the meantime tell me about your thoughts. Do you think Eamon was right about love being the death of duty? Or do you think duty should be the death of love? If you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. If you want to know everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven.